This is Gene Key, KDD News. ConnectAmarillo.com reports an 18-year-old man remains hospitalized in life-threatening condition after a single car crash on Interstate 40 Sunday afternoon. Police said a Chevy Cobalt, driven by 19-year-old Alejandro Mayfield, was exiting Interstate 40 westbound at Ross Street just before 4 p.m. Sunday. That's when police said Mayfield lost control of the car and it skidded into the grass median and struck a light pole. 18-year-old Joshua Needham, a passenger of the car, was taken to a local hospital with life-threatening injuries. Mayfield was also taken to the hospital but with non-life-threatening injuries. Police said speed is believed to be a factor that contributed to this crash. It remains under investigation. Amarillo.com reports West Texas A&M University's departments will have until mid-April to identify budget cuts of at least 3%. West Texas officials are proposing a $150 tuition increase per semester to help offset state budget cuts and cover expenses such as increased insurance premiums and new teaching positions. Amarillo.com reports Amarillo attorney who prosecutors said owes the Internal Revenue Service nearly $900,000 in back taxes is expected in federal court Thursday. A November 2005 indictment said John Lewis Leslie did not file federal tax returns with the IRS from 1999 to 2002, during which his gross income topped $2.7 million. Leslie owed the government just over $800,000 in income taxes for those four years. Leslie was arrested March 1st. He had been on the lam since 2005 when he failed to appear at a November arraignment and a U.S. magistrate judge issued a bench warrant. A federal grand jury in 2005 indicted him on four counts of failure to file tax returns. Leslie faces up to a year in prison, a $25,000 fine, and restitution on each count. Leslie has not been allowed to practice law in the state since 2005. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.